prophet which is really weird because apparently he cures uh, diseases with his farts so it's really really comical but we actually have people like this so anyway this prophet I don't know if he bottles his farts and sells it to people like like as a cure he actually calls it a cure for corona so that's exactly what you call pseudoscience which is garbage uh, and of course he could have his theories that he could prove but there is no scientific proof in that like uh, it's horrible to even think that anyway uh, of course it is in everything that we do we want to provide useful information and knowledge to people uh, in this case it would be students and me providing it to you but at the same time it's always a learning process so i learn things from you you learn things from me that's how life is um of course we use technology biotechnology uh for the benefit of humankind to show the ways in which humans have impacted negatively we talked about that and the pollution that they have thrown onto the environment and organisms living in that environment we talked about the the bp spillage um that was down in the south of america close to acapulco i think mexico uh, to develop a greater a, a great appreciation of the unique diversity and biospheres in south africa both past and present of course to create an awareness uh, we must be also the awareness is to make us responsible citizens uh, meaning that we do not destroy anything just for fun we can't be burning anything just for fun uh, we can't be killing anything animals especially for fun um, some people do that that's why i actually said it but like instead of just eating it people will go and and just be carnivorous i guess um of course to expose you to the range and scope of biological studies to stimulate that's the most important thing in science as and also um as students and educators we want to be stimulated with knowledge of course um further studies and careers in one more of the fields we talked about the different fields specific aims in order to guide your progress through the year and make sure that you benefit um there are specific aims that we have to look at so aim one for science and life orientation sorry specific aim acquire new knowledge so that is the acquisition of uh, knowledge um, and of course we're going through the different concepts processes phenomenon a phenomena is something that could be explained by a theory but not entirely phenomena are things that happen naturally like uh, like a volcano uh, mechanisms principles theories laws and models um, and of course we have to analyze them specific aim number two for life sciences is to investigate the phenomena in life sciences and of course it's to gain experience and we do experiments in class practical work and investigation specific aim number three understand the application of life sciences in everyday life you will gain an appreciation of the way that science applies in everyday life as well as gain an understanding in some of the history of scientific discoveries and the relationship between indigenous knowledge and science you might be young but if you write this down um you could probably ask your parents when you go home there was a program that we used to watch back in the day a tv series called medicine woman so she was um of course from the north of europe and she had moved to america uh, back in the 1800s early 1800s and of course she met a man that she was with and uh, he was from i think one of the wenja tribes in south america or north america and um, she, so she was like a doctor and he was like a herbalist 
and he took care of her and he gave her that natural uh, like herbalistic medicine from his indigenous knowledge and she came with a science from Europe so together they formed a very good bond uh, and that's what it was about and that's what it should be about when you get two different cultures where you take indigenous knowledge from one tribe or one race uh, and pass it on to the other an A to Z of possible careers in life sciences we talked about this at the beginning of the lesson ever wondered what you can do with life sciences after school below are some of are some careers which you could study uh, there's a whole lot of them here let's go to agronomist um, it says on the root word agri agriculture production of crops uh, animal scientist we know what that is biochemist I uh, love biochemistry, it's so nice when people understand it. Um, but feel that will, of course, give you a good job in the future. Biochemistry is the way to go because it's, it's biochemistry, it says it for itself. You know? Botanist, uh, botany, uh, someone who studies plants, uh, very good as well. Uh, I know of a personal family member that's a, a botanist. Uh, PhD uh, and he loves working with with plants and he comes up with a different hybridization of different plants two plants that they combine into one um, developmental biology studies the development of animals and fertilized eggs also something that you want to look forward to if you if you love the produ production of producing food for people uh, ecologists, um, they study the relationship between organisms and the environment. We talked about that. Food scientists, excellent. Uh, I know some people that do testing for food, and what's lovely about it is that they get like all the different chocolates from Cadbury's, from Pick and Pay, like the pies, the cakes, um, like. Lindt, Beacon chocolates and then they get to taste them so they get like different samples from random box and they do tests for it of course uh, in South Africa we have a Bureau of Standard um, I think it's called SAB 9002 I'm not too sure about that but anyway we do have a group that goes around um, to different supermarkets uh, of course, they work with the Ministry of Health or the Department of Health and they take out chocolate samples uh, like lollipop samples random and then they give it to food scientists and the food scientists check the quality of it. And of course, if they find anomalies, especially like uh, horrible bacteria and stuff in them, then they find the company, the company takes everything back. It's, act, it's excellent for us as the consumer, but not for the capitalist, basically. Because they lose, they, they lose money when they take stuff off the shelf. Um, geneticists. Um, go to the next one. Horticulturists. Marine biologists. We talked about that BP pollution, uh, down in Mexico. Um, but yeah, marine biologists. Then we have medical doctors or nurses, the medical field. There's a lot of different things that you could do here in the medical field. Uh, from nurses, um, gynecologists, um, heart surgeons. Plastic surgeons. Sports science, therapists, there are lots of things that you could do in the medical field and related to other fields as well. Like some people love football, uh, they could study medical uh, in the field of uh, medicine, but related more to sports science, you know. So you could diversify not only in that in the hospital field, but in sports fields as well. Microbiologists, nutritionists, nutritionists comes from the word nutrition, nutri, uh, to give health, um, and also 
to maintain a good healthy lifestyle. Paleontologists. Paleontologists are ones that study fossils, uh, especially for those people that like playing in gardens and finding old stuff, could do it as a job, pharmacologist. Um, science teacher at the bottom, helps students in different areas of science, whether it is at primary school, high school or university. Scientific methods, we spoke about this. Uh, this information that I'm giving you is from your from your book. Life Sciences Orientation, we talked about scientific methods that people use for testing, uh, relationship and principles. Uh, we talked about that presenting data. Uh, we talked about the different tests that you do. Example, if you go to, uh, if you have a water testing kit, uh, and you want to test the relationship of the pollutants in the water compared to another place that doesn't have any pollutants. And then you look at the environment factors in one compared to the other. We talked about dumping. So if I had to give you a test, a water test kit, you would take the test kit, test it in um, place A, then take it to another place, test it in B, test it in C. So you take all these different um these different places that you've tested in and we call them samples so you have sample a b and c uh and you could have more uh, and then you present your data you process it of course before you present it and then you will find the norm anomaly between them um and you can pinpoint where exactly the fault is so presenting data is very important experiments and that we talked about that mathematical mathematical skills in life sciences very important uh, is it as important as the actual um, the observation finding out about the particular matter uh, I don't think so because you could use a, a computer or a calculator to give you an analysis of the different materials or samples that you find so as we proceed into the future or we, as we process things differently it's becoming more easier for us to to find out about different viruses or strains or things that are affecting our environment in the negative capacity and then of course we have lab safety procedures um, I'm sure like you guys seen explosions and stuff on TV. Some of them have happened intentionally, of course. Some of them ha like arsonists. Arsonists are people that go around and set things on fire. And I'm sure you know in South Africa, they set like schools on fire. So we know in the lab, it's protocol to wear certain uh, coats. Like in the chemistry cab uh, lab, you would wear a coat. Um, you would sometimes use a plastic helmet uh, like laborers wear outside just for protection. You would use goggles, you would use gloves. So there are certain safety regulations that need to be followed. There is a job specifically for this that people do which is called uh, HAZMAT. Uh, it's, I think it stands for Hazardous Material um, Officer maybe. Uh, but these people I know someone who works in that position and it's kind of cool because you get to see like uranium and uranium is like used in hydrogen bombs or nuclear bombs. Uh, you get to uh, work with different types of chemicals, uh, how to use them, how to put them off if there is an explosion. Um, firefighters uh, are very clued up with these types of, with this type of information, especially because it's their field. Scientific methods, biological drawings. Uh, when you draw a diagram, it's it's an essential part for you to communicate it so that when someone sees the diagram, they know what's happening. Uh, you should try to work on your artwork, especially sketching diagrams. Uh, 
um, if you look at a plant, you have the stem, 